Welcome to the course electronic circuits on unit 4. This video topic is high frequency response of common emitter amplifier. Okay, so already we have seen the high frequency response for BJD amplifier. Okay, where uh, again this is like common emitter amplifier where we have included the source resistance and the load capacitance CL. And then what is the small signal equivalent for this common emitter amplifier? Is this VI is the input voltage, or is is the source resistance, or B is the biasing resistance that is parallel combination of R1 and R2, or B is the uh, input resistance due to the small signal equivalent at the base side, and C P is the input junction capacitance at high frequency. C mu is the uh, capacitance between the base and the collector at high frequency and gm b pi is the voltage controlled current source okay r naught is the resistance due to base width modulation rc and rl is the resistance this uh, capacitance that is common to both input and output terminal can be mapped to the input terminal uh, that we call it as a miller capacitance that is miller capacitance cm is equal to c mu 1 plus gm rl dash okay where rl dash where, where this gain of the amplifier is uh, with respect to uh, with respect to without having the device capacitance okay that is gm into rl dash where rl dash value is uh, r naught parallel with rc parallel with r okay the parallel combination of r naught rc and r Okay, so now we can modify this uh, circuit diagram like this. Okay, the C mu is mapped to the only input side with the value of CM. Okay, the rest of the uh, component remains the same. Okay, now what is the upper 3 dB cutoff frequency? Okay, the upper 3 dB cutoff frequency. Upper 3 dB cutoff frequency. Tau frequency FH is equal to FH is equal to 1 by 2 pi tau, where tau is the time constant of the circuit. Okay, the, uh, the input side. Okay, the time constant of the circuit is equal to R equivalent and C equivalent. Okay, the time constant at the input side. Okay, then how to measure the tau? First, you find out the C equivalent. Okay, the C equivalent value is C equivalent is equal to C pi plus C mu. Uh, that means cm c pi plus cm now you remove the capacitance okay then remove the effect of the source then you measure the resistance looking from the capacitor okay after removing the capacitor that resistance we call it as a r equivalent r equivalent the r equivalent value is r s yes, uh, parallel r s yes, parallel with r b in parallel with the r pi okay r s parallel r b parallel r pi okay now again now we know r equivalent and c equivalent then directly we can find what is f h okay cutoff frequency at the higher frequency okay so the cutoff frequency f h is equal to 1 by uh, 2 pi uh, r pi parallel r b parallel r s r s c pi c pi plus c m c pi plus cm now what is the mid band voltage gain okay the voltage gain at mid frequency mid band mid band voltage gain okay so at mid band when the frequency is at the middle range we consider this uh, c pi and uh, c mu is like a open circuit okay it's like a open circuit Okay, we consider at the mid frequency c pi comma c mu are open circuit okay so that effect we can remove okay open circuit okay again uh, again after removing this c pi and cm okay now what is the voltage gain okay the voltage gain is generally v naught divided by vi the voltage gain av at mid band is equal to v naught divided by vi okay in general the voltage gain is uh, gm gm into rl dash but 
but if you see at the input side the entire input voltage is not applied to the base of the transistor only part of the input voltage is applied because uh, some drop will be there across this rs then how much uh, input voltage is effectively applied to the transistor okay that is, we can calculate with the help of voltage division rule okay so that is rb parallel r pi divided by the total resistance okay so again this will be modified like this okay rb parallel r pi and the total resistance that is rs plus rb parallel r pi okay so if this source resistance is not there then we can simply write gm rl dash because of this source resistance some drop will be there okay the input voltage drop some of the input voltage drop will be there at the rs resistance that's why uh, we write this term extra term here okay so again one more assumption here is at mid frequency the effect of uh, c pi and c mu are like a open circuit okay so once again uh, what is the uh, what is the frequency versus gain here the frequency axis this is the gain axis okay uh, and so the gain remains constant then at a high frequency it start decreasing okay then this particular frequency we call it as a higher cut off frequency that means uh, this is like maximum gain okay this is like maximum gain okay again this is the 3 db deduct 3 db reduction okay the cut off cut off frequency the gain will be decreased by 3 db from the maximum voltage gain okay so uh, this is about the uh, high frequency analysis of the ce amplifier so next high frequency response of the common source amplifier we know that common source amplifier is uh, common source amplifier is similar to common emitter amplifier amplifier is similar to similar to common emitter amplifier okay as it is similar we can extend this analysis to the common source amplifier very simply so with the some simple replacement okay so you replace replace the c pi okay c pi by cgs okay the capacitance between the gate to source and you replace c mu by the capacitance between the gate and the drain terminal then rest of the analysis remain same so that means what in the answer okay see in the cut off frequency uh f h yeah, in the cut off frequency you replace this uh, capacitance value then again all these values are same okay anyway you will represent your uh, mosfet okay you will represent your mosfet uh, with the pi model equivalent pi model like this then rest of the analysis remains same okay so this is the high frequency response for common source amplifier next bandwidth of the multi stage amplifier okay so we go for multi stage configuration in order to increase the gain of the amplifier say for example the amplifier is having gain a1 okay the another amplifier is having gain a2 then what is the overall gain of the amplifier the overall gain the overall gain of the amplifier is simply the multiplication of a1 and a2 okay so when we want more gain then we can cascade the amplifier but what happens to the bandwidth of the overall amplifier okay when we cascade the amplifier what happens to the bandwidth okay so the bandwidth will reduce because the gain bandwidth product is always constant okay when we try to increase the gain the bandwidth of the amplifier will decrease okay so when the amplifier when the amplifiers are cascaded when the amplifiers are cascaded gain of the multi stage amplifier will increase but the bandwidth of the amplifier will decrease because the gain bandwidth product is always constant say for example this is the gain of the single stage okay single amplifier and this is the bandwidth of the single stage amplifier now after the multi stage the gain we represent like this gain of the multi stage amplifier and the this is the bandwidth of the 
multi stage amplifier so if you try to increase the gain the bandwidth of the multi stage will decrease because once if you go for cascade combination multi stage the gain will increase so that bandwidth will decrease because gain bandwidth product before cascading and after cascading remains same so what happens once if you try to increase the gain of the multi stage okay the more you increase the gain of the multi stage amplifier then lesser will be the bandwidth of the multi stage configuration okay the bandwidth uh, will reduce okay so uh, this one is gain of the single stage amplifier is it, it is having lesser gain okay once if you cascade the gain of the amplifier will increase but the bandwidth of the multi stage will decrease okay initially the bandwidth of the single stage is higher but for the multi stage the bandwidth has decreased where this flss is the lower cut off frequency of the single stage amplifier flms is the a lower cut off frequency of the multi stage fhms is the higher cut off frequency of the multi stage fhss ss is the uh, higher cut off frequency of the single stage okay so the lower cut off frequency of the multi stage is greater than the lower cut off frequency of the single stage but whereas the higher cut off frequency of the multi stage is less than the higher cut off frequency of the single stage okay so again we can write here the fl ms is greater than fl ss whereas fh ms is less than fh ss okay so the bandwidth of single stage is fh ss minus fl ss whereas the bandwidth of the multi stage is fh fh ms minus fl ss okay so one thing is from this it's very clear the bandwidth of the multi stage is less than the bandwidth of the uh, single stage whereas the gain of the multi stage is greater than the gain of the single stage okay now again by what factor it is greater okay see when you go for uh, cascading the bandwidth Uh, is getting decreased by what factor it is getting decreased or the gain is getting increased okay now we have to calculate that factor by what factor the the uh, cut off frequencies are modified whether it may increase or decrease whereas at lower cut off frequency it increases whereas at higher cut off frequency for multi stage it decreases okay by what factor it increase or decrease okay so if we cascade n number of similar amplifier if n number of similar amplifier stages are cascaded n number of if n number of similar if n number of similar amplifier stage are cascaded similar amplifier are cascaded then what happens to the fl ms how it is modified okay that with respect to the original value with respect to the single stage it is modified like this okay with the factor of 2 power 1 by n minus 1 square root the two in the denominator whereas here fh ms that is modified by with respect to fh by the factor of 2 power 1 by n minus 1 square root but the term is in the numerator okay for example we'll take uh, suppose very simply we can take Uh, suppose for example two stages are cascaded n is equal to 2 then how it will be modified okay so the for a two stage amplifier fl multi stage is equal to 1.56 fl ss and again whereas for fh ms it is like 0.64 fh ss that means the lower cut off frequency have increased by this percentage whereas the higher cut off frequency decreased to this level okay from the original value again the bandwidth will be modified according okay so this is all about the bandwidth of the multi stage amplifier similarly you can put n is equal to 3 and you can calculate what is the effect okay so that's it okay thank you